problem, sir. Huh? But I could think of one, or maybe two, no, I can't remember. Turn the music off, please. And the engine. Driving license, please, sir. You realise you jumped the lights? Yeah, look, I'm sorry, officer, you know, it just wasn't safe to stop on Amber. Besides, there was this van coming up behind me trying to bend my fin, you know? You're reporting me then, are you? What is this, eh? Obviously, it's Get Litten Week. Bit out your price range, isn't it? Stick to a Datsun, Sonny. I think my solicitor will be giving your Mr. Brown loud bell for acting without due care and attention to other people's feelings. You haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, have you? Number uh, 595. Sign there, please, sir. Thank you. I haven't seen the car before, but I never forget a face. I have a feeling we've done business before, Mr. Litton. I wouldn't waste my time trying to ruffle my feathers. Concentrate on keeping your eyes on the road. <laughs> you bastard. Fitting me up. You know I'm going straight. That's your story. It took a bit of doing getting this job with my record. I needed this job. Your eldest is a partner in the scrap business, is that right? You leave Pat out of it. He didn't offer you a job then. He's looking after us. Don't you worry. He has thought plans for a bit of fencing. <coughs> I might have a chat with him, Patrick, about at the moment, is he? <coughs> it was my charge. I could be suspended. Those Robocots from MS-15 can read a double meaning into Beatrix Potter. The man had a heart attack. It happens. The custody sergeant knew the drill. There was nothing that happened that could lay the blame on you. Mind you, I was out of the room at the time, of course. Can I have a glass of water? Give us a statement and stop wasting time. Our time. <clears throat> I'm... I'm not feeling so good, mate. <clears throat> All right. They're going to analyse that tape until it wears thin. We were about... Sorry. You were about to get a conviction. Litton's. Been thieving for years. Look! We've been at this for three and a half bloody hours. This is harassment. I'm, I'm not saying no more with that. <coughs> Come on, Frank! Let's get this over, OK? I've... Look, you have seen... Mind you, it's a bit embarrassing with Bradby here at the moment. No burn side, no raid to deflect the body blows. Oh, thanks, Ted. You're about as much support as a poodle in a drugs right. You've got nothing to worry about. You weren't to know he had a dodgy ticker. Dead on arrival. Custody Sergeant Miss Sergeant Penny handled the whole situation very well. I'm more concerned that we're watertight on Carver's evidence. I'll check over the details, sir. Stolen fireworks for the second time. Oh, I didn't notice the fireworks had gone till this morning. I thought just a box of cigarettes they stole. I noticed he lives with Manu his eyes closed. Listen, this is serious. Unless you secure them properly, you could lose your trading license. You need to reorganize the shop. I mean, these should be behind, not here. And it may be ah. We told you this last time. Tweet! Look, don't give us a reason to call back, okay? 
threatening me with a solicitor ringing Brownlow. Oh, he thinks he owns the manor. Well, who do you think he is? Well, you weren't to know that Dad died here in custody, were you? So? A bit insensitive of him to be driving around with his mates, if you ask me. He should be able with a bit more respect. <laughs> was Sean with him, the younger brother? Yeah, could have been. Sean was in my five-a-side at the club. Well, you tried to weld him, you know, nice kid. But when Patrick took him under his wing, he just left. Some wing? Yeah. He gave me the third degree when I tried to coax him back. Yeah, he's a good player. I mean, he could be club level. If he's off school, you know, he'd just go the way the rest of them. Now, keep your eye out for him if he's about. All right, Sarge. Come on. Ref's over. Back to the tin box. You've got to take another quells the way you do. Sierra Oscar from 181 receiving. Go ahead, 181. Sarge, this has to be a wind-up. I mean, this place is completely derelict. It was a social worker reported possible criminal damage. You did say number five? Yes. I'll see what I can find out. officer it's all right I've just come to find out what's been going on here WPC data from Sun Hill oh did, did Sergeant McManus send you no I don't know a Sergeant McManus Lytton's death has gone public care of the family well, they move fast usually it takes me a week to place an ad it contains an interview with his son alleging we hounded his father and we're responsible for his death. Well, post-mortem's due from hospital shortly, sir. It was confirmed as a heart attack. Well, keep me in touch, will you? Press office will issue some sort of statement. Oh, so, you wanted to see me, sir? Quiet backwater, Sun Hill, isn't it, D.S. Roach? One false arrest, a failed obber, and now a suspicious death in custody. Do you know, I thought I was in the wrong job until I was kindly asked to look after things here for a couple of weeks. I must see if I can super glue myself to the spot. Double check young Carver's facts leading up to bringing in Lytton for questioning. And let's hope it was all within pace, shall we? Are you asking me to investigate a fellow officer, sir? Just check the facts. Look, forgive me, but apart from the station cat, you appear to be Sunhill CRD's most senior officer present. It's in your interest to keep it in the family, I would have thought. You've got the rest of the day to give me some answers. I want to ask DC Carver to remain in the building for the moment, will you? It's best that we know where he is. Yes, sir. There's been a report of some damage here. Yes, children broke another window. They come right inside the house sometimes. Well, I'm not surprised. You can't lock the front door, can you? Do social services know? I'm sure if they saw the condition of this place, they'd find you somewhere else. Oh, they would, dear. I had a gentleman come round and tell me I shouldn't be living here. Shouldn't be living here, I said. My family's been living in Claypole Terrace ever since Grandad Eli. Shouldn't be living here. <laughs> that sent him on his way. <laughs> Never had a job, and yet somehow gets the money to buy a wreckers yard. And a flashy American car. The next time that tow rag is well and truly neat. Now you want to be careful. After what happened to his old man, this could look like harassment. This is a car. We're patrolling the area. A mercy mission to save a lost soul, I think Cry will call it. Yeah, he's not sitting in a car about to have its design altered, is he?
you taking away? Uh, Mr. Roach. Why do detectives never do their collars up? Unfit and still hankering after a youthful image. <laughs> Getting somewhere. Let's wrap this tree and see what falls out. Tony, General Patrol, son. You still pursuing Frank Lippen? Died of a heart attack three days ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. If he hadn't stolen the stuff in the first place, I was going to keep him on. Okay, Albert. Bring me more evidence that the M25 is helpful to industry. You know, Mr. Carver gone scuba diving? You could say that, yes. Crime prevention a different department. Sorry, sir, it's restricted parking outside the station. You have to move it further along down the road. Yeah? I'll tell you what. How about I give you the keys and you move it for me? Ah, uh, see, we're a bit tied up at the moment. There's been a definite family. No point in waiting, I suppose. Don't say another word. You know, you shouldn't really live here all alone. It's not safe. Oh, I'm not alone. I've got Kathleen. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought... My daughter. I hadn't realised. Does she live here too? Well, the back bedroom, sirs. I keep it ready for whenever she wants it. Ah. Does she visit often? Oh, yes. All the time. Well, that's nice for you. Yes. I told the gentleman. That's why I can't leave. Look, we're really very sorry about your dad. I know it's not easy and we do understand your anger. Nothing in life is ever black and white, though. It affects us, too. We've got feelings. Yeah, I'll just take my dad's things and go. Patrick, ease up, will you? For Sean's sake. Look, he needs your help. He's only a kid. He can look after himself. Don't you, Sean? Sean. Look, if you want to come over to the club, have a game, eh? Just look in or give us a ring. I mean it. He's past kindergarten. We're on to adult education now, Mr. Cryer. I'm talking wrong for the rest. Harassment. Listen, I haven't even started yet. All right. Just check the contents and sign here, please. Not much memory of a man's life, is it, Sergeant? Oh, what? The shoe come off when your lot started slapping them about. Is that it? Come on, Sean, let's get out of this. Place. Sean! Look, don't let him drag you down. I know it's difficult, but you've got a lot of mates over the club, remember? Think about it. She shouldn't be on her own. I mean, there are kids throwing fireworks into the house. Well, like you say, if social services already know about her, there's probably nothing we can do. Sarge, have you heard of a Sergeant McManus at Sun Hill? McManus? No, not in my time. Why? No, nothing. Look, can you show me off watch for an hour or so? I want to talk to the social worker. The post-mortem confirmed natural causes. That'll keep the press from lynching you. 
Personally, I'm not sure that verbal GBH wasn't a contributing factor, though. I heard the tape. Branlow might have to talk to you about interviewing technique. Yeah, don't tell me, Ted. I know. Look, I said check the facts, not do the place over. It gets worse by the minute, this place. I'm convinced we're in the middle of some sort of a wind-up. Maybe we should explore the family tree. Well, it's your manor. You've got the map. Tread carefully. Now, Frank Lipton's dead and still the place got done over. He must have passed on some information. Some details about the lorries going in and out. Times. It's an inside job, it has to be. Coincidence? We should have a word with young Patrick. There's only one problem. He's got the best alibi in the world. Oh, yeah. He was downstairs with Bob Cryer when it all happened. <laughs> nice one. It's all a bit too tidy. Hello. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm looking for Graham Rose, a social worker. Oh, yes. I believe he's in the Melbourne wing. Just around the corner to the left. Right, thanks. Yes, how can I help? WPC Data, Sun Hill. May I have a word? I understand you're dealing with Mrs. Rice, Claypole Terrace. Yes, she's one of mine. Um, can we talk over here? If she would agree to leave, I could have her in sheltered accommodation by this evening. What, somewhere like this? No. I showed her a new purpose-built lot. Separate accommodation, 24-hour care. She still wouldn't leave. Well, she won't move because of her daughter. Mrs. Rice doesn't have a daughter. Kathleen's all in her mind. Oh. She's got to be moved out for her own safety. Well, maybe between us we can persuade her. I mean, if she's in danger, she becomes our concern as well. Mm. Couldn't give us a description of this lorry, could you? I don't know. It was, it was just a lorry. What colour was it? Beige or grey or something. Light. Light. What about writing on the side? A name or a picture or anything? Yes, Leo something export. Leon exports? That's right. And he headed off down there? Yeah. That's a dead end. Except for the scrapyard. But I don't want to leave Claypole Terrace. Mrs Rice, please try to understand. This is very important. You can't go on living in this house. They're going to knock them all down. No, they can't. Not again. What do you mean, again? They destroyed all of Canning Town in one evening. Who did? The Blitz. That was 50 years ago. My Kathleen. There'll be a pack of bloody Dobermans in there. Come on. Sierra Oscar from Sierra One. Go ahead, Sierra One. Tell Ted Roach we might have found his stolen lorry for him. I know I get confused. It's just that things seem more real then. And the people and the places. Well, they never left me. We'll take them with you. Mm. No one wants to take your memories away. Yeah. <laughs> You do understand this means you have to move out of here straight away. Tonight. Mm. And what about Kathleen? Kathleen died. In the blitz. Do you want to help Mrs Rice collect a few essentials for tonight? I'll send a van around tomorrow for everything else.
You've kept a room exactly as it was for the last 50 years. 42. They didn't rebuild the houses straight away. Is there anything from here you want to take for tonight? No. I just wanted one last look round. So long. First water main. We had to go another way. I told you you drink too much. Now you watch it. All right. You stand the outside just in case they try to escape the cage. Okay, come on. Right. Who's Jailer? Tell you French. Is that wise? Well, she frightened me. <laughs> Can I have a word, Miss Squire? Of course. No, Patrick. No. He's a loser, just like the old man. I think I'll stick to football. We're close, mate. CID. I'm afraid the family business might well be closed for longer than you think, Patrick. 